So now I'm going to set up on the AS Ilium. There we go. I'm just waiting for her to balance out. Got it. I heard that pop too. Did you hear it? Yeah, I did. It was a big pop. So I waited for her to take weight off that back right leg. And it gave me a moment and I set the hip back up. So her right hip was sunk. And give her a second to feel that one. So we're going to just see if she licks and chews a little bit after that. There we go. Hey there, it's Dr. Doug Willen, and here we are at Rising Star Horse Rescue in Connecticut. So we're gonna be working on some horses today. We're gonna to check them head to toe. If you want more information of Rising Star, it's in the description below. So we have Layla here today. She's a 14-year-old Arabian. Uh, this is my second time working with Layla. She was rescued from a kill pen in Texas, right? Yes. And this is Michelle, she's working with me today. Um, she, uh, she was uh, asked to breed, right? So what, what was the story with her? She was rescued from a kill pen by someone who wanted to use her for breeding. Um, mm -hmm. But then she ended up losing two foals. So the person who had her just didn't want to put her through that anymore mm -hmm. um, and did the right thing and surrendered her. Yeah, and, and then uh, so we're here at, um, up in Connecticut. So, so Layla came from Texas to Connecticut. And you could see her beautiful features. She's got this high forehead and the set of her ears. And um, Arabians also have a wonderful tail set, which is gorgeous. And she just is such a beauty. So we're going to start looking at a few things today. And we're first going to take a look around, and then we're going to come back and work on some spots. So now I'm coming down here through the shoulder, through the chest. She definitely has a couple of spots in her neck coming down now the withers. Um, now I'm at the back end, I'm feeling the sacrum. It feels like this left hip is a little high and I do feel tension through here. So I feel the glutes, the glutes are a little tense on the left. I'm coming back through the hamstring a little tight here too. So I'm going to step around gently here. You can go much wider than me, wide, 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 and I'm going to come in close. So I'm just clemming close and now feeling the right hip, hamstring, glute. The tail is relaxed right now, but it is a little tucked under. So the tail gives us a lot of clue. And when it's a little tucked under, I mean, she's a little apprehensive right now. She's a little nervous and uh, wondering, maybe suspicious, wondering what's going on. And again, these are my challenges. I mean. She's got this great wide rib cage. If you watch the first video of her, you can see that, but that's just her shape. It's not lopsided. It's symmetrically wide. If it was asymmetrically wide, I'd be concerned whether I need to adjust the rib cage, which I know how to do, but, but that doesn't apply to Layla. Um, now I'm up again at the right side of the neck, checking the shoulder and coming down. And I'm just feeling muscles feeling for tension, looking at her eyes, looking at her ears, looking at her tail, looking at her top line. And let's just touch this point and see if we can get her head to come down a little bit. And I'm just touching this point, girth, and behind the shoulder and get her to relax a little bit. Touching this TMJ this side's fine, it's the left TMJ. Coming down the neck, up at the pole. 
We already got her to drop her head a little bit. Let me touch this point again and see if I can bring her towards me by touching this point and letting her come towards me. Letting her relax. Letting her relax. So now I'm gonna use the nose and I'm gonna be up at the pole with my left hand and I'm gonna jiggle out some stress. And she's pulling away because that's tender. So her pole is tender on this side. And I'm jiggling, opening my hips, opening my body, so to not be a threat. As I push my belly towards her, she feels that. And I know she's backing up because I'm on her pole. And I'm letting her breathe and feel this. I'm watching her eyes. She's blinking right here. And I'm going to bring the head around, giving it a stretch. Stretch. Good. She's chewing a little bit. And the chewing is a good thing. And that's a sign of a stress release. She's chewing and licking. Now, I already did some massage work and stretching. And that's a good first introduction because I'm not going to just get in and start cracking her. Now we're going to touch this point down here again and watch her head come down. And the head should come down. A little more, a little more. Good, she's relaxing a little bit. Her top line softened, her eyes are softening. I have to create trust first. I just can't come in and just click away. Her nose is flaring, her nostrils are responding, her eyes are softening. I wouldn't say I have her totally ready, but a change since we started. Good. I might mix it up. I might come down to the legs. So we're going to get her to square up. Good. One more. There you go. Perfect. So I'm going to get her off of the weight on the right foot leaning her to the left, asking for her foot, and she gives it to me. I watch the weight because I want her to stay on the left, and I'm going to start feeling this. Oh, that's a little tender at the shore pastern. We might just stretch this a little bit. So just going to bring this back, back and down, let it come down, let it come down. So I'm going to wiggle this a little bit, wiggle, good, that's fine, I'm going to come back and start again, square up, come on. Good. Let's let her calm down. See, someone just entered, so. Um, do you need to get through? No, I'm just undoing the house. Okay, 
So we might have to wait a second. We just had someone enter this space and it's going to be hard to do this at the same time. And you could see someone just with the camera. That's fine. That happens. Okay, it's me. So I'm going to ask for your leg again, okay? There you go. So I'm taking the knee in and out. Checking the cannon bone, the splint. Long pastern, short pastern, fetlock. Coffin bone. Let's bring the leg forward this time. Not yet. We might not be able to do that much today on the leg. We'll see. Let me have this. Let me give it this. There you go. One more. Good. I'm going to rub this muscle up here at the top. There you go. Now watch your face. Just stretch the leg a little bit. Give her a second. Give her a second. There we go. So that's a little bit of a stress release. Okay. Good. So now I'm going to get this spot that I saw before at the lower cervical. So you might want to swing the camera around this way. I have her relaxed. Coming down to C6. And adjust, and I got it. Good. Just move her and the yeah, just let her finish chewing, and then we can do it. Good. So now we can reset her. Good idea. Good. So now I'm back in this area. Let me bring the head again this way. Good. Good. All right. Come forward again. Ready? It's okay. We can, you don't have to pull her forward. Come. Come. There you go. Perfect. I'm going to come back down and check the withers again. I still have the pole. But I'm going to leave the pole for a little longer because I just need her to be ready for it. And now I'm on a spot here. I'm watching her eyes blink. And I'm on it right there because you could see the blinking. Jiggling it, jiggling. I'm gonna set up and adjust this now, so be careful, okay? So everybody be aware. I'm just gonna adjust the spinous. Got it. Now I'm gonna to touch the spot again and watch your eyes. I'm watching the right eye, it's not blinking. This one's not either. Yeah, so I, I got it. So I took that stress off. Now the left side, I'm going to come around. This side is a little high, and I have to see if it's here. Yeah, this side's low. 
So I'm actually going to adjust the low side, not the high side. So we have an AS ileum on the right where the ileum came anterior and superior. And to uh, do that adjustment, I set up on, on this spot here. And I wait and watch her. And here we go. Let's square up a little bit. That's perfect. And before I do this, actually, let me just check the reflex. And you see her butt tucks. That's what we want. Good. I'm getting her back foot to level. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to set up on the AS ilium. There we go. I'm just waiting for her to balance out. Got it. I heard that pop too. Did you hear it? I did. It was a big pop. So I waited for her to take weight off that back right leg and it gave me a moment and I set the hip back up so her right hip was sunk and give her a second to feel that one so we're going to just see if she licks and chews a little bit after that there we go And so that means her parasympathetic nervous system, it's kind of switching over from the sympathetic nervous system, which is the fight, flight, freeze, or fright, to the healing and recovery and sleepy part of the nervous system. And um, let me just see what I missed, okay? So I'm gonna come down the back. She's still kind of digesting that last one. She's distracted, so let's wait a second. Yeah, we could turn her around, no problem. I think she wants to see what's happening on this end of the barn, you know? So I'm going to come around this side, and the hip feels level now, or more level. I'm actually going to come under the tail if she lets me, and I'm going to hit a spot here. So I'm going to put my hand under here, and I'm into this muscle here and I'm going to watch her face. I'm using very light pressure with my thumb. I'm under the tail, and I watch her eye, watch her ears. And I'm going to wait till the hip relaxes. This might take a little bit of time, but it's worth doing. And I'm giving her a little bit of a sway. Her eye blinked there. There's a lot going on now. There's power tools. There's a smell of, uh, the locksmith is here. yeah, we smell some, the hoofs yeah, the hoofs being ground down or whatever, right? Right, he's chewing. Yeah. Horses. All right. So we still have the pole. We still have the left TMJ. I'm just going to hold this for a second. A lot going on here. Meaning there's a lot of noise in here, people working. Got it. Give her a second to lick and chew if she feels like it. I'm going to step away to give her a little space. And there it is. Okay, I did a left TMJ. Now, usually I do the pole sooner, but um, I'm going to do the pole now. And we'll probably finish on that today. Okay, 
Come here. So it's the left pole, and it's sensitive. Right now I'm just rubbing it. I might be able to move it just with softness, which I'd prefer to do because she's a little worried about things today. Sometimes less is more. Good. Come on and up, baby. Good. Take it up now. Take it up. I got you. I got you. I got you. You hear that little pop? So I got it to pop in just by jiggling it. I have strong fingers. I'm on the pole. I'm pulling the pole down with my fingers. I just got it to move. There we go. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Okay. TMJ's relaxed. When I touch the TMJ, she doesn't blink. The pole is fine. A little blinking there. Might be a little less. Let's just do a little more massage in there. It's still a little sensitive. Let me see if I'm missing something. Sometimes C2 is out. That pole is still going on. I do see what I will adjust. I'm going to adjust a left superior atlas if she gives it to me. So the atlas, the wing of the atlas is wedging up against the occiput on the left. And I'm going to wait so I can get her head to come down just a little bit. There's the head down. Now we got two dogs. So these are type of distractions that really happen, and but it's, it's, it changes the mood. These are challenges, because we um, just have to deal with it. So guess what? It's better to let the dogs clear out than to try to adjust an atlas or a pole Mm -hmm. while a dog is running under a horse's feet. So I, now I have a stressed out horse again. <laughs> so this decision is do we bring her back down again? Let me see what the Atlas is doing. Still very tender up there. All right, so let's just jiggle it out. We're just gonna wiggle out. Come here, come to me, come to me. I'm gonna just be nice to you, okay? We're not gonna adjust it audibly, we're gonna just rub it a little bit for you. Right now we're waiting for her. She still hears the dog. She still hears the men working. Um, we might have to end here. Before I quit though, I just want to see one last thing. All right, that's it.
No. I don't think I'm going to get to do her atlas today. Would it help if I just walk her a little bit? Yeah, let's try that. So let's walk her a little bit and then bring her back. That's a good idea. But you could feel it, right, Michelle? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like it's... So you can watch her walk. And you can stand behind and follow them. back, Maria. That's a good idea. I don't know if it crumbed or not. I mean, the atlas or the pole is, the atlas is the pole, but it's so important if it is irritated. Um, so it'd be nice to, you know, finish on that if we could. It's so for mayor friends. Yeah, so it's a lot going on. Um, Rhea, come around, because I'm going to just take a, one last little look and see if there might be a moment. I'm going to switch sides with you, Michelle. That's okay. Come here. Got it. So I, I did get on it. So watch. She's going to lick a little bit. So I got the atlas. I had to be fast. And she hears everything coming around. Let's give her a second. Just let it... I think we're going to end on that. We got the atlas at the very end. And she's relaxed while I touch it. It's about the most we can do. And this is good for everybody to see because sometimes you take what you get. Look, she's licking though. She's a little more relaxed. Okay. Her top line is relaxed. Her head's not up. She didn't hollow out her back. Her tail is relaxed. And she's in a good place. Okay. Thanks for letting me talk to you today. Work with you a little bit. Okay. All right.